out here walking by the creek today, getting my nature fix. Nature's always been a go-to for me, but especially this past year, just being able to reconnect with it and, you know, even just getting out in nature for 10 minutes makes such a big difference. And today, walking around by all these beautiful trees, it's making me think of this really fascinating NPR piece I heard recently about how trees are speaking to one another underground through their root systems. And I just found that so fascinating. And it just really highlighted for me the connectivity of everything, how we're connected to nature, how nature is so intertwined and connected within itself, beyond even sometimes what I can wrap my head around. When I get back out in nature, I'm able to not only get regrounded myself, but also just really feel that connection to something far bigger than myself. So today, I'm thinking about trees. Hi, I'm Megan Haney Greer, and this is The Imperfect Conservationist. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how you can easily swap out the paper towels in your home for big impact. It all starts right now. The Common Household Paper Towel, widely used and greatly loved all over the world for their convenience. We use them as hand towels and dish rags, napkins at the dinner table, and to soak up spills and wipe down just about any surface. They're also made out of paper, so technically they're even biodegradable and compostable. So then, what's not to love about these handy dandy paper wonders? Let's take a look. It's estimated that the average household in the US uses approximately one to five rolls of paper towels every week. Overall, this generates 13 billion pounds of paper towel waste every year in the US alone. Although they can be used multiple times, paper towels are typically only used once and then thrown away. So in this way, they become a single use item. And anything that has this short of a working life always deserves a second look, because it's likely there's room for us to make an impactful improvement. One of the biggest issues with paper towels is that they're hard on the environment. Like most paper products, paper towels are made from trees. This demand in part contributes to deforestation, which is a huge environmental issue we're facing globally today. Because everything is connected, clearing forests and changing the landscape in this big dramatic way is a huge driving factor in climate change. It also wipes out vital habitat, leading to loss of species and biodiversity, along with a slew of other serious issues. Not to mention, trees provide much of the air we breathe. So, if you're a breather, this is definitely an issue that impacts you. Second, in addition to trees being harvested, everything takes energy to produce. Paper towels are no exception. A lot of energy and finite resources go into manufacturing and the process of getting these soft yet sturdy disposable towels into your home. For example, for every ton of paper towels produced, more than 20,000 gallons of our freshwater resource is used and consequently polluted with the harsh chemicals used in the manufacturing, like chlorine bleach. Finally, number three, paper towels are not recyclable. This is because they're made of shorter, lower quality fibers compared to something like paper, which is recyclable, and because of how we use them. They often get contaminated with things like grease and food as well. So there's the answer to that question next time you're standing over the recycling bin totally confused. Hmm. As I mentioned, composting paper towels is possible, but this can be tricky because it depends on what the paper towel was used for in cleaning up. Any grease or oily substance can be a problem in composting, and of course, so can contamination from toxic cleaning products or things like dog poop. Most end up getting thrown out and going to the landfill. They will eventually decompose, but here's the real kicker. In the oxygen-starved conditions of the landfill, paper towels break down and generate methane, a greenhouse gas that is at least 25 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Ugh. What is an imperfect conservationist to do? The big picture can be pretty overwhelming and frustrating too. And while we need to have a good understanding of what the problem is and why we care, we don't wanna get stuck there. And this is where the imperfect conservationist comes in. We can collectively move our focus from the problem to the solution and figure out what we can actually do about it. 
there are some alternatives to regular paper towels out there. These options are definitely better than your straight up standard bleached roll of paper towels made from virgin growth trees. But they do still carry their own impact in energy use, manufacturing, and they are designed to be used and tossed quickly too. So still creating heavy single use waste. So what in the world are we supposed to do? Besides like use your sleeve, which technically that's also an option. About 10 years ago, I had a project I was doing for school at the university, and it required a bunch of bandanas. Some of them I had gotten donated for the project, and others I had just picked up at the secondhand store. At the end of the project, I no longer needed them. So I washed them up and put them in the donation box in the garage and just kind of forgot about them. At some point in there, before I had taken the box to the donation center, I spilled something in the kitchen, reached for the paper towels, and realized the roll was empty. I always hate it when that happens. In that moment, I remembered the box in the garage and grabbed one of the bandanas. Then, being that I was out of paper towels, I kept using these bandanas throughout the week for napkins, to wipe down surfaces in the kitchen, I mean, pretty much anything that I would have used a paper towel for. Then when grocery day came, I went to put paper towels on my list and I realized for the better part of 10 days or so now, I had been doing just fine without them. And as I mentioned, I was a student at the time, so on a pretty tight grocery budget as well. I was happy to save the money and I thought, what the heck? Why not give it a try? Now, here it is over 10 years later. I still am using the bandanas, many of which were from that original batch. And outside of the pretty rare occasion, I really haven't gone back to using paper towels. There are three things that I always look for whenever I'm considering making a change. It has to be easy enough that I can work it into my life with everything else going on and actually keep doing it. It must be affordable or save me money in the long run. And for impact, it's a really important motivator. If I'm gonna go through the trouble of making this adjustment, I wanna know that it's actually gonna make a positive difference in the world around me. So let's see how the paper towel swap stands up to this test. Is it easy? Okay, so had I not stumbled on this habit change with all those bandanas way back when, I likely would have thought it to be much more difficult than it actually has been. I loved my paper towels just like anyone else, so it might not have occurred to me to make this swap in the first place. What I realized though is that I barely missed them, and the reusables quickly became more convenient for me, or I wouldn't have kept doing it all these years. So this one hit the easy mark for me, and I encourage you to give it a try. Is it affordable? Really, any version of this swap is affordable, and can actually save you and your family hundreds of dollars a year just by skipping paper towels. As for impact, this is always my favorite part. Whether you decide to cut your paper towel use by 50% or go with full reusable options, it has big impact. If every household in the United States replaced just one roll of standard paper towels for something else, we could save 544,000 trees a year. Imagine the impact of cutting by 50% or altogether. With all of these reusable options, you're not only cutting out the harvesting of trees and resource use that goes into manufacturing standard paper towels, but because you're using them again and again, it helps to curb the amount of waste going to the landfill and the harmful gases that that puts off. And if you decide you do not want to swap out paper towels, then going with 100% recycled paper is going to be a better option in that case. In the big picture, this pivot is a small thing but picking what works for us in our day-to-day -day life and keeping it small is exactly what makes it sustainable because it ensures we're gonna keep doing it. Small actions like this can drive big change. This easy swap out reduces your impact from start to finish of what goes into a paper towel and even saves you money. Super bonus! Making a positive impact on the world around you does not stop here with you because your actions inspire others to make positive changes too. These are drops in the bucket and they add up and radiate out. What you do every day matters and reducing or swapping out paper towels for reusable options is just one way that you can be part of the solution. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you feel empowered to give this simple solution a try. Be sure to hit that bell below and subscribe for your weekly dose of conservation empowerment and more videos like this with bite-sized achievable ways you can have a positive impact on the world around you right now. I'd also really love to hear from you. So please write in the comments below and let me know if you gave this a try or if you have another solution maybe I haven't thought of yet because I'd love to check it out. Thanks for watching The Imperfect Conservationist. I will see you next time. Woo! <laughs>